Hi everybody, hope you are all doing well. It is I, Old Gamer Joe, back here with yet another Media Moogle review. Today we are taking a look at Otto, an action adventure indie Metroidvania platformer from the folks at Tiny Warrior Games, both developed and published by them. This game takes place in the era of feudal Japan, and interestingly enough, this game has decided not to tell its story through any dialogue whatsoever, rather just imagery, and it's actually really effective, far more effective than a lot of games that do have dialogue and overly complex narratives attached to them, Ato gets its message across quite well without needing any of that. From the beginning of the game, you are a peaceful warrior that seems to have settled down, however, his baby is kidnapped from him very early on, which sets him out on a quest to obviously go and try to get his child back. The game animates things well and shows you just enough to keep you completely invested in the tale. It's not the most important aspect of the game, the gameplay is, but it's a pretty nicely told story considering there is absolutely no text, no voice acting, or anything like that. I was pretty impressed with that. In fact, Otto impressed me in a lot of different ways. I was surprised, I must admit, I was expecting another generic Metroidvania, but this game takes a lot of creative risks that really do pay off. For one, the majority of the combat is one-on-one -on -one in this game, though you will come across a few enemies from time to time. You'll gain a lot of different abilities across the journey, but for the most part, these fights are pretty standard one-on-one -on -one sword fights that are surprisingly effective. You can jump on top of your enemy's head and continually batter him with your sword, bouncing up and down. You can dodge. You also have more of a critical slash in this game, which is more of a deep gash down the center of your foes. You can use this to platform in certain areas, in fact you'll have to in order to reach some of the many secrets scattered across this game, as well as advance through areas that you need to get to. Despite this simplicity, the bosses all seem pretty varied and different from one another, and they were always interesting and fun to fight. They do take a lot of hits. There's three difficulties to choose from, including a story-based mode, which is designed for players that just want to experience the story and not deal with too much challenge. Kind of a middle-of-the-road mode, which is what I chose, and that felt pretty comfortable for the most part. And then there's a more difficult option as well. But I found that the balancing of the middle-normal mode was perfect. Outside of the boss battles, which there are many of, you'll do a lot of platforming in Ato as well as exploration. It's a pretty big world, I was not expecting that either, but there's a lot of different areas in this game, and the abilities that you acquire along the way allow you to access more and more of the map. The map also does a pretty good job of showing you where you haven't been, and locating things is not too difficult, and there's a good amount of puzzles in this game as well, which are all pretty entertaining for the most part and not overly strenuous or annoying. I was blown away at the scope of this game. It's much larger than you're probably expecting. There's lots of different areas and it's always fun to explore. Otto is also a game that is pretty pleasant to look at for the most part. I like the color scheme in this game. Lots of pinks, bright colors, and really enjoyable fluid animations help the presentation as well. Like I said, this is a pretty big world with hours and hours of gameplay ahead of the player, so you will explore lots of different areas that look different enough. Maybe some of the environments are a little bit samey, but for the most part, I thought there was a good variety. The bosses are always a treat to see and unique looking enough, your main character is fun to use, really great job in terms of presentation, and the soundtrack is actually not too bad either, very fitting for the setting that you find yourself in. The Taiko drums and the beautiful flute melodies are really effective for the settings that you find yourself in, and I really did enjoy the soundtrack on the whole. In fact, in general, I just find Otto to be a really well put together game that's a lot of fun to play, feels great, looks good, sounds good, and does switch up the Metroid game play in some interesting ways, including some puzzles that will catch you a bit off guard but are always fun to solve, and a new spin on combat which is more focused on simple melee battles one on one for the most part. I wouldn't let Otto fool you, this is a game that will absolutely entertain throughout, it's really fun and it's a great spin on the Metroidvania genre. For more on Otto and all of our other content, head on over to MediaMoogle.net where we have some great podcasts like I Dream of Indie, and if you would like, you can hit the subscribe button below, which really helps us bring a voice to the voiceless in gaming. If you really, really like us, you can head on over to Patreon.com slash MediaMoogle where we have three wonderful tiers to choose from with some great bonus content, or you can leave a donation in the link below, or you can also use those affiliate links if you want to get some PlayStation Network cards, Xbox, or whatever you wish. Thanks so much for watching.